In this lesson, we will continue to looking at simplifying algebraic or exponential expressions like this one over here by using the K method. Okay, we're going to do trinomials, but to make it easier, we're going to use the K method, which I did teach in the previous video. So if you missed that previous video, check the link in the description box, watch that one first, but we're going to be doing a second example of using the K method, trinomials to simplify. So first things first, how do you know what you must do? How do you know that I need to factorize? When you see plus or minuses, separating the terms. So if you see multiple terms in my numerator, like you do here, one, two, three, we know we need to factorize. We can't do highest common factor here. Look at what would we take out as a highest common factor from these three terms. We can't do difference of two squares. So it's looking like it's going to be a trinomial. Our first step in these sorts of questions is see if we can write our bases as prime numbers. Okay. So prime bases right? Prime basis. So what do I mean by that is instead of four, I can write two to the power of two. And we know that if two to the power of two is raised to x, so instead of four, I'm writing two to the power of two, it's raised to x. So I keep the x there. These multiply together. So it's two to the power of two x. So all I've done is instead of having four to the power of x, we have two to the power of two x. I haven't changed anything. I've just rewritten it as prime bases. And then I've got two to the power of x plus two plus three. And at the bottom, I've got two to the power of x plus three. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I said in order to recognize it as a trinomial, it's going to help us to reverse our exponent rules. So what I mean by that is instead of writing that, we can write two to the power of x and then don't forget to square it. Okay, all I've done, this is the same as this. I've just rewritten it in a different format. Then plus, remember we can break this up, reverse our exponent rules. So instead of that, I can rewrite it to look like this. 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. If this is still confusing you, if someone had to say to you, I'm giving you this. Now simplify that for me. I hope that you would know that the bases are the same. So you keep the base and you add the exponents. 2 plus x or x plus 2. Same thing. So rewriting it like this isn't changing anything. It is still this. It's just written in a different format. And then we have plus 3. And we're dividing that by 2 to the power of x plus 3. Okay, so that's our next step. Just simply breaking up the exponent or, you know, reversing the exponent rules. And then you will remember the k method from the previous video. Now, how does that work again? Remember, I said you take the this one with the x exponent, the one in the middle, always the one in the middle, or you can think of it as the one that is half the exponent of the one next to it. This is x, which is half of 2x. You take the one in the middle, the one that is half the one of the other one. So you're going to let k, that's the k method, equal 2 to the power of x. So instead of 2 to the power of x, we are going to put k. So this is 2 to the power of x squared. So it's going to be k squared plus here we have 2 to the power of 2. Okay. Now what's another way to write 2 to the power of 2? 4. And then once again, instead of 2 to the power of x, we are going to write k because everywhere where you see 2 to the power of x, we are going to replace it with k. And then plus 3 goes here. Then at the bottom of the fraction, again, everywhere where you see 2 to the power of x, you write k in its place and then say plus 3. Now we have a fraction over here which looks a lot simpler to factorize and therefore simplify. So if I had to give you this, you'd be able to do this in grade 9 or grade 10 already, even grade 9. How do you simplify this fraction over here? Well, first you need to do a trinomial at the top. So I hope you know how to do that trinomial. It'll be k plus 3 and k plus 1. And at the bottom, I have k plus 3. Now that I have one term at the top, one term in my numerator, I am allowed to cancel if I want or if I can. So k plus 3 cancels with k plus 3. Therefore, my answer is k plus 1. But that's not my final answer. I don't want k in my final answer. We need to replace that. Remember, earlier on, we said k must be equal to 2 to the power of x. So we're just going to put 2 to the power of x back in the place of k. And that is my final answer. So I hope that you can see that using the k method is just a way to help you do the trinomial. It's a way to make this look a little bit easier to do. Because if I had to give you the initial sum again, 
it is not obvious, at least not to everybody, that this is a trinomial. And it's not obvious how to factorize that trinomial. But when we do prime basis for the four, when we break up or reverse our exponent rules, so we say two to the power of two, two to the power of x, instead of having it like that, and then we let the middle term be k, it turns into a trinomial that is much easier to factorize. I really hope that that's helpful for you. Remember to check out my playlists, link below for more videos like this. Bye, everyone.